With these bigger and wider wheels, uh, it was apparent that the steering was a bit too hard uh, to use on this Honda. And uh, to be honest, the, the real problem wasn't really how hard it was to steer, but if you hit something with the wheel, like a root or a rock or something, uh, that, uh, you know, that came back to you as a bump in the steering. And it could be as bad as uh, literally ripping the handlebars out of your hands. Um, that's one of the benefits with power steering on these things that uh, they dampen that kind of impact. So uh, what I did was I widened the handlebars. Uh, I welded on a piece of uh, steel pipe here and took everything out to get more leverage. But to reduce this bump steer, or whatever you can call it, I my plan is to use this uh, steering shock absorber, or steering damper. It comes from a BMW from the beginning, I think it was an R1000, so it's, a, it's for, from a road bike. And um, my plan is to put it something like this here, uh, weld a bracket here, and then I actually found this thing here, it came from the excavator, and uh, now it's loose of course, but if I, if I tighten it up, it will probably work as something to attach uh, this end to. So when I steer it like this, you can see it's, uh, it's moving. So this is the part that goes uh, around the steering shaft and I'm planning to do something like this here. Remove these two threaded holes and cut it off there. And then make a cut there and um, Cut this whole thing off like this, and then weld this thing here onto this part there. So as you can see, I've started to uh, do some construction and cut myself also. Uh, cut this off the right length, and I started to, as you can see, I have to cut out some more here. And then the weather got bad. I think we're ready to do some welding and uh, I'm gonna use the stick welder with the 1.6 millimeter stick. This is what I came up with so far. 
it's uh yeah it's, it's not really easy to weld these kind of things i've tried a couple of different electrodes and uh i think it turned out that the oco 48 the old-fashioned one actually was the best and uh i'm gonna weld something up over here to strengthen this part i'm gonna make a small cut in the middle here and uh, that way i can weld it uh, to that plate on the other side and now you can see that there are two layers of steel here and i'm just gonna weld this cut now and it will probably hold for much more this this will not be the weak link at least So uh, as you can see, with this, since this is just not a round hole, I can adjust this a bit. This or like that. Okay, so here is how I I'm imagining it will work. Uh, I'm gonna have to weld this bracket to the frame, something like this. And um, as you can see now, it's like an end here. If I just if I just hold it like this, you'll see. This uh, here it can move a little bit like this, but I have to. I think I have to grind off a bit here because it, it actually bumps into it. I'm gonna have to wait with welding until tomorrow because it's such a terrible weather outside, and uh, I don't want to be standing inside doing it. Maybe just put a little bit of weld where I when it when it's where I want it to be, and then um, finish welding rest outside. As you can see, the weather today is is much better, and uh, I'm going to start by doing some grinding work here to be able to tack it uh, this uh, bracket in place and see if it works. So I think uh, it will work, and uh, I use this old rug to just cover up, take some parts here. I use a little bit of this wet sandpaper just to not have this uh, surface so bright and shiny, just roughen it up a bit. Uh, I hope that this uh, that this bracket will uh, have more friction against the steering stem that way. I don't know if it matters, but. I think I'll put it something like that because, well, it's, there's still some left here, um, by the way, see there's, uh, there's
left a little bit left there also. So it will not reach the end of this piston. Okay, let's try that before I put in any more weld there. I put some anti spatter spray on here. I'm gonna let this thing cool off a bit. I welded it from under also. It was really, really hard to get to it. Uh, I think it's, it doesn't seem to flex anything. And to be honest, I don't know if this damper will make a difference because it's, um, I can't feel anything. But maybe like, I have to ride it. I'm gonna let this cool off and uh, while I do that I, uh, I'm putting on some lights on this shield. So I got some paint on it. I think it looks good now. I'm just gonna put this together. Try it out.
front and uh, it definitely feels more stable um, I think I think I, I would like a little bit more dampening effect it's um, you can you can feel it's more stable but when you hit something uh, hard it um, it still it still kind of pushes you out and uh, almost pulls the handlebars out of your hands uh, I know this this wasn't meant to used in an aggressive off-road kind of way but uh, I think it's fun to drive that way uh, sometimes uh, the good thing about using this um, BMW RR1000 damper is that there are plenty of options to use this is uh, this is from the original one but you can buy a kind of cheap uh, ones for that bike that is adjustable and I think that would be really good uh, I I think it would be easy to, to change the one I have to some adjustable one I don't have to do anything with the brackets or anything like that so uh, uh, hope you like this video thank you for watching and bye